I just put together this fantastic acrylic shelf. It's as though it was made for this. It's incredible, right? Look at this. How amazing is that? You could have Megazord and White Ranger too if you wanted. This is really such a great display thing for them, right? I think so. I've been going a little acrylic crazy on Amazon lately. You can take these things again and take your power coins from your Morpher, your Legacy Morpher, from Starlight Studio, wherever you get your coins from, and those can go there, right? Each Ranger can have a coin. I just have these handy, but you know, you can do it with all of them. If space is an issue, you can sort of work with this a little bit. For one thing, these can all move. So here's another way to do it. At the top of the sword, this could almost be 18 inches tall. It's not small, but some people certainly have places they could put something like this. My ruler is 18, 18 inches long. It's probably 25-ish. I just moved the yellow and pink shelves. You guys can experiment on your own, and of course there is a direct link to this on Amazon in the video description. It's about eight and a half inches deep at the moment. Uh, this configuration. It certainly doesn't have to be all Power Rangers or all the same team of Power Rangers. You could do any number of things. You could even put your five inch heroes on here or any number of other toys or action figures. You know how I love my displays. So this is a really, really awesome thing. Maybe you want to have some of your favorite Ranger keys displayed. You can fairly easily fit a team of five, or you could have a sixth Ranger standing in back. There are the metallic Kaiju keys. Those are the Japanese, not the American. American, you could probably fit more because they're smaller. So the top shelf makes this about 11 inches tall, just a tiny bit over 11 inches, plus whatever you decide to put up there. But if you're not trying to fit this into like a small bookshelf, you've got space. So this shelf right here is only about nine inches tall. However, these are adjustable. This one is almost 16 inches. If I wanted to, I could remove this shelf entirely or move it up. So you have all these different notches here. These acrylic stands are great for so many things. Any of your power coins will work with them. Here's Rider stuff, cards, Ninja Storm or Hurricanger. Uh, this is the only thing that doesn't work so great. You kind of have to play with that a little bit from Shinkanger. But everything else is just really fantastic. Here's a no pies button from Morphicon and a Henshin Vault coin, also from Morphicon. Here's your Japanese and American go on to RPM chargers, Megaforce cards, that's from Lightspeed. This is a great way to display your anchor key from Bokaiger. This is from Bokanger slash Overdrive. So you can see that there's a whole bunch of different things that you can use these for. And I've actually got more stuff in the other room. I actually used one of these to hold his shovel. I've got a couple down here. Let's see if this actually fits in the in the Ikea shelf. Okay, this could be really good. Let's see what I can do with this. Okay, I think I just found a home for this new Amazon shelf I got. What do you guys think of that? You might even be able to work in an explosion somewhere. Well, I'm thrilled with that, yes. And then this thing I actually got from the Sharper Image when they were going out of business. This, I think, held razors. But, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't know where you guys can get one of these things, but... You know, I'm always on the lookout for display pieces because they're really fantastic. It's like it was made for this. It's perfect. Actually, maybe I'll give them some weapons, which I keep in here. I got this at a hardware store. I think specifically this came from Osh, but they all have them. So I keep the hands in here and the different weapons, and these things are removable so you can make different sizes. So like, there's some longer things that wouldn't fit in here. These are the American hands for the uh, seven inch figures. All right, I gave them some weapons and tried to give them slightly cooler poses. Uh, I really think this is coming along. I didn't expect to be doing this right now, but I just kind of got sucked into it. Uh, this really looks great, All right? The only unfortunate thing is that's kind of what fits on the top shelf, but still, I mean, this just looks fantastic, so. Definitely uh, check out the link in the description if you guys are interested in this uh, acrylic thing, because that is really, that's great. The LEDs in here are also from Ikea, and you can change the color. Big difference. 
we had a lot of other stuff we had to take care of this week, so no new review, but I did want to post a video. So hopefully that is useful to people that enjoy displays as much as I do. People keep messaging me, asking me if there's any news about the American Ranger keys, and you guys should all know me well enough by now that if there was news about new Ranger keys coming out for Bandai America, I would have posted a video the very second I heard that news, so if I don't say anything, I don't have any news. New York Comic Con is in October. I would have to imagine if they are doing something with keys, that might be a good place to say something. Had they made an online announcement, you guys know that everybody in the fandom would have shared it, so you would have heard it that way. So if you haven't heard any news, there's a very good chance that there isn't any. I am most certainly aware that Thunder Megasaur is up for pre-order. I'll put a link in the description for you guys that are interested. I don't know if that's going to be the price of Toys R Us yet. Currently, I'm seeing $1.99 for that, and I know people are already saying that's too much. And I'm certainly not going to say that's cheap. $200 is a lot of money. But I don't really want to comment too much more, because I haven't seen the Zords individually, and I really haven't seen Red Dragon Thunder Zord at all. I don't know how much articulation there's going to be, how much detail. And don't forget, back in 94, Red Dragon Thunder Zord was sold as its own thing, and then the Thunder Zord Assault Team was sold separately. Because Red Dragon Thunder Zord has two modes. It's the Red Dragon, and then it's got a humanoid form, and that's kind of its own Megazord, kind of like Tiger Zord, which sells for $79.99 and more or less, depending on where you get it. From what I have seen, it looks fantastic. It looks very fancy, but I haven't seen enough to really say, okay, that's why it's so much, or that's too much, or I don't care how much it is, I must have that anyway. Well, I must have that anyway, because <laughs> I love that I love that sword. But um, I know so many of you guys want news before news is really news, or want to start commenting on stuff before there's really enough to comment on, and I can't really do that. I like to wait and see. I want to see all five Zords individually. I want to see, I want to see everything before I can really give you any further comments on that. What I saw at Comic-Con looked fantastic, and it was a prototype, so that wasn't the final version either. Maybe at New York Comic-Con they'll have some new things for us to see as well. Speaking of Die Ranger, I guess some of you guys are new, because we've had a lot of people inform me that Die Ranger is coming to DVD. I am a tiny bit familiar with Shout Factory. I think I may have mentioned to you guys back in May that Die Ranger was coming. And you guys remember Mr. Richard? Here's Mr. Richard. Hello. From from Shout Factory, who randomly found our house and stopped by. Oh, of course, I want to stop by. <laughs> Anything new with the DVDs for for Super Sentai? Super Sentai is coming. This second one's coming out. Is it? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. All right. And digitally as well. When it's coming out, I don't have the date. I'll okay. find out for you. So the rumor comes from Mr. Richard. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Richard. So that's not going to be available until November 10th of this year, so still got a couple months to go, but there is a pre-order link. I'll put that also in the video description, and I'm sure I'll do a standalone video on that as we get closer to the DVD being released. And I know someone's going to ask, yes, of course, there will be English subtitles. And I know that Brian Ward is trying to do his best to make the subtitles even better on this set than they were for Jew Ranger. And as I've said in the past, if the sales continue to be good, they're going to keep going forward with this. So hopefully Die Ranger will sell. I think Jew Ranger did pretty well. They'll keep doing this, and I think that is really exciting. And once again, direct link in the video description right below the video. Just click show more for more info. And for those of you guys that do pre-order it, you can get it two weeks early. Dino Charge is back this weekend, this Saturday, August 29th, 12, 11 central on Nick. Also, don't neglect my playlists. I made all these playlists, like, for all the people that think Mia's my twin sister, you can find out who she really is. Here's just a handful of videos I took from our vlog channel, or you could just go right to our vlog channel and watch some videos over there. I'm sure all of you guys who think Mia's my twin sister are thinking to yourselves, but they don't look anything alike, and they have a really weird relationship for siblings, and they have different parents, so if you're like really confused about that, definitely check out our vlog channel. That'll help clear some things up. And also in our playlist, you'll see things like how to paint your zords, the way I clean them. People keep asking if I can post videos on how I build my display shelves, but I've got like four or five videos that are already in there. So I know some things are a little hard to find, but I've been trying to make it easier. So some of you guys got to work with me a little bit. Hey, it's Neil Kaplan. We'll see some of you guys on Sunday at C4. Uh, Steve Cardenas will be there, Allison McGinnis, Sierra Hanna, the space guy over here, Dan Southworth will be there, Steven Schuyler, Trip, Kevin Kleinberg will be there, C4, Central Coast Comic Con, you'll find links below for this as well, August 28th to the 30th, Ventura County Fairgrounds. And dinner is ready, so I'm gonna go. Definitely check out the video description right below the video. You have to click show more for more info, otherwise you don't get all the links. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'll be back soon with many, many more good videos and... Good night.